Many of us have experienced of a tempering of a tool when sharpening on a grinder. The edge changed color to a stray yellow and to a blue. We then know that the edge has softened and will no longer stay sharp and will not resist wear. Of course, in sharpening knives, we take measures against it. Nevertheless, honing can still overheat the very edge and the tip in the thinnest parts of the blade. Deburring and honing at high RPM overtempers the edge apex, another term is detempers, compromising the edge retention and rendering it prone to folding. These knives dull at a faster rate through the same usage cycle. Knives are typically tempered at 150-370 Celsius or 300-700 Fahrenheit and many at 150-260 Celsius or 300-500 Fahrenheit. Tempering over 425 Celsius, 800 Fahrenheit, is usually avoided because it reduces impact resistance. Once the knife edge is heated to the temperature at which it was tempered, it softens. Over 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit edge in mainstream knives starts softening. By 350-370 Celsius or 650-700 Fahrenheit, even quality mainstream knives lose their temper and soften. But many knife steels detemper already at 260 Celsius, 500 Fahrenheit. For example, the 52100 steel and the lower end knives. However, knives of high speed and many wear resistant super steels can withstand heating up to 600 Celsius or 1000 Fahrenheit. Remember these numbers as we will be referencing to them many times through our experiments. 260 Celsius, 500 Fahrenheit, starts a high risk zone for the edge of a tempering, softening, for a typical knife steel. And honing at higher RPM can heat the knife edge over these temperatures, even if your fingers on the blade do not feel hot. Can we feel overheating by bare hands? Our fingers feel intolerable heat at 44 Celsius, 111 Fahrenheit. At 55 degrees Celsius, 131 Fahrenheit, we get a burn with a blister. But because of the very small volume at the apex, it heats up much more quickly than the rest of the knife blade. Holding the blade with bare hands is not likely to be sufficient since the heating occurs so quickly. Stuff that reminded me about the whole topic of when you're grinding a knife, can you burn the edge while holding it? And people say you can't because you feel it get hot. So uh, this is a heat treated piece of Almax, which I'm holding back kind of as if you're holding a spine of a knife. And uh, let's see if I'm going to hurt myself. Pretend I'm grinding really hard. Do you think this is as hot as a grinder? Can a grinder get this hot when you're grinding steel? And uh, will you feel it with your finger? Right now I can't feel anything on my finger. The heat has not transferred. And I'm grinding, say, the apex of the knife at the moment. Grinding away, the apex is getting really hot from the stress of grinding on a worn belt. Pretty hot. Yeah, I'm really ruining my apex. Is anyone beyond any doubt that that's ruined? I can feel a warm finger now. And let's quench it. Just started to feel warm. It felt kind of like putting my finger into a hot cup of coffee after all of that. Do you think that's still good steel on the end? Nah, don't think so. Neither we can see discoloration from the heat in the first micron of the edge, because the edge is not a bar of steel. When the steel overheats, it first changes color to a straw yellow. Wavelength of the yellow light 
is 580 nanometers. And the edge must overheat to this depth from the apex for us to see it. 580 nanometers is six times the width of the apex of a shaving razor. In other words, by the time we can see yellow discoloration in the overheated edge, the softened edge is already six times duller than the razor. Human eye physically is not able to see discoloration before that. It is more, actually, because the softened apex will fold unless you remove it by steering. The tempered structure of the overheated metal in the edge causes the edge to fold over, roll more readily and dull more quickly. By acknowledging this, we open up a huge can of worms, but maybe we can work through it. It is going to be a big study, but someone just must clear all these points and put points over all I and J. Waiting for you!